Now, early last month, the Uganda Meteorological Authority reported that there would be above average rains in this last quarter of the year. Now, in the recent days, the roads were flooded while potholes had been surfaced, broke up again. What more can we hope for? To help us appreciate this, we have the Minister for Relief and Disaster Preparedness, Hilary Onek. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Good evening, Mildred. Honorable, starting with the obvious, how much more rain can we hope for and how serious will it be? Um, Mildred, um, this is come about, there's going to be a lot of rain. We shall have El Nino this year. But this has come about because of the global effect of global warming. The temperature of, of, of Earth, of global temperature has gone up by two degrees and above the normal temperatures. This has occasioned uh, more moisture to be produced by the ocean, mm -hmm. more oceans. And this moisture, what is blown, or vapor, um, is blown on land in East Africa, particularly from the Indian Ocean, where the temperature has gone up. And uh, this uh, definitely now becomes rain when it is over the land. When they reach a higher level, it, it, it becomes rain. And the rain has increased in, 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 the, in the quantity. Previously, under normal temperature, pressure, temperatures and so forth, the ratio between our rainfall here, which rainfall has been mostly 60%, out of the result of the moisture coming from Indian Ocean and 40% from the evapotranspiration and other vapors that arise from our land, yeah. from our area here, forest and so forth. But now with increased temperature in the ocean, more rain is coming to the extent that they alter the ratio. To the extent, to the extent that currently over 70 to 80% of our rainfall is from the ocean and only about 20 to 30 percent through our evapotranspiration. Our quantity is the same, the evaporation and so on remain the same, but then more rain is coming from there. So, so then how... And, mm. and this increased rain definitely brings about all this what we call a you know, landslides, lands, landslides coming, floods and flash floods like um, what happened in Kasese when this excess rain, this flash flood, which bring down rocks and so forth from the hill and displace the population down and even hurt the population. Landslide like in Bugisu, mm. uh, in, in Elgon area, and then floods in those flood land like in Teso area, mainly those area of Katakui, you go to up to Otuke and all those areas which are flat generally in Teso and part of Lang we so get floods. So then, Honorable, how mm. is the government preparing for the damage that is likely to be caused by these heavy rains? Like you have clearly mentioned in those areas. Well, at the moment we give warning. We give warning and we, uh, we have produced hazard maps. Hazard maps, um, the map of Uganda, reflecting if there is increased rainfall, where is likely to be landslides? Where is likely to be flood? Those, are, those maps are available and we avail them in the districts and we are going to sensitize the districts to ensure that the population are warned of those occurrences so that they don't stay on the harm way. And, um, and that is from the, the, the Atlas. At the same time, after this uh, El Nino rain, it will be immediately followed later on by drought. By drought, because the temperature has gone up by drought and therefore we shall have again disaster arising from dryness, mm. drought, and so forth. Okay, so uh, mm. are there any predictions of the areas that are likely to be the most hit when all these disasters occur? The natural places that you know of, all these areas where there's been landslides, where there's been floods, and where there's been um, flash floods, mm. those are going to be affected. And for drought, the usual places like Karamoja, Northern Uganda, part of northern, most part of Uganda, northern Uganda, and some parts, it will be dryness. Mm. And the increase in temperature of the globe, 
the whole earth, the temperature of the earth has gone up a little bit because of this global warming. It has uh, brought about um, tectonic disequilibrium. Mm -hmm. In other words, the globe, uh, the, 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 the globe which was in harmony mm -hmm. with itself has become turbulent a little bit. That's why you can see now cracks emerging, increasing. Along Mount Elgon, longitudinally, there's a huge crack. Those cracks which follow the, that, uh, reef, that fault line um, which created leaf valleys and so on. Those are now increasing. And we, therefore, we may experience earthquakes because of this turbulent, the, the earth become turbulent with earthquake, earthquakes. We shall also have occasional volcanic eruptions, mm. like in Kasese, those areas, we expect those. Okay. And this is where we have to be prepared for, to and see that our population are not in the harm's way. And how are we going to prepare for these occurrences? We, we have to propagate a lot of advocacy. We are going down to the population and ensuring that they are aware, mm. their leadership at least are aware, so that command can come when situation become like that and they move away from where they are. Like, um, if you take example, like at Elgon area, we have, as you conclude. Yes. we have people who are living below the cliff of soil which can any time come down as landslide. Mm -hmm. We have the maps for all that. We know exactly which villages are in danger. So these people must move as quickly as they can. So preparedness is going on. I've alerted all uh, my, the ministries responsible for various um, for infrastructure. I've alerted KCCA, for example, in Kampala here, there's likely to be heavy floods. They have to clean their drainages to make sure that's ready to receive increased volume of rain, etc., so that people don't don't, don't don't meet hazards here. Thank you, Honorable. Mm, well, so Honorable uh, Hilary Onek, the Minister for Relief and Disaster Preparedness, getting to share with us what is in for us uh, when the rains uh, come and also how prepared should we be when that time comes. And this conversation takes us in for a short break when we return. NTV Weekend Edition continues shortly.